Hey everybody, Thrifter Hacker back again, and I went out to the local discount store, had to pick up a set of headphones. Of course, I came back with 20 other things. But anyway, this is what I picked up. I also have another thing that we're going to do in another video. So I got up these headphones and this tablet mount. It looks like they're made by the company Trax. Uh, these are Bluetooth headphones. This cost me $7, and I think this cost me like $5 at the discount store. And we're going to crack them open and see how well they work. So the headphones kind of look like your standard Beats by Dre knockoff. I've already pulled them out of the box before the video to charge them up. And I tried them out a little bit and the sound quality is okay. I mean, it's only $7 worth of sound quality. But the headphones themselves are pretty comfortable. They have this little squishy thing on the top here. And... Uh, Fairly noise-canceling. I don't know if they're actually supposed to be noise-canceling, but uh, yeah, it doesn't say anywhere on the box that they're noise-canceling. Up to eight hours of playtime, which I believe I had a cheap set of headphones kind of like these, and they lasted. I can use them for two or three days before I had to charge them. So anyway, I'm going to throw these on, and we'll see how the microphone works. All right, now we're on the headphones, and I think I got it hooked through the mic. Um... I don't know how the sound quality it is, uh, but when I go to edit this video, we'll find out. So, all in all, I tried them last night, listened to some YouTube videos and stuff, and uh, they're fairly decent headphones. I mean, they're definitely worth the $7. But anyway, we can move on to the next product. Next product is the tablet clamp stand. It's supposed to fit tablets up to 10.1 inch. Universal fits and adjustable. So let's crack this open and see what we got. Oh, let's see. This is the mount part. Actually, uh, optimistic about this one. Uh, this thing, the, the mount part is really, really hard to bend, which means it's going to hold the tablet in place pretty good, hopefully. It looks like this, you spin this and it opens up the clamp on the bottom, yeah, like that. I have the plate for it. All right, let's put this together. Putting this together wasn't too hard at all. You just had to take the, and screw this uh, collar here, pull this back, pop the ball into the socket, and then slide the uh, little adapter sleeve back down on it. And uh, now we're going to mount it to the table and see if it works at all. Well, I got it mounted up to the table here. And I extend it out. It's a little, uh, a little wobbly, but... Uh, it's not going to matter if you're just sitting watching videos. And since this rotates forward, backward, left, and right, you can kind of dial it in right where you need it. Probably wouldn't want to use this in a moving car, like in the video, or you're going to get a very motion sick. Anyway, this is actually pretty cool. This is... When I get these mounts for this cheap, most of the time they don't work and they get returned. But this one I'm keeping. This one works really well. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. I have another video in three days. That is going to be another product that I picked up. It's kind of a weird gadget, and we're going to see if it works. And until next time, build stuff, have fun, and happy holidays.